Hi guys and welcome back to Rich Reviews. So, Santa Cultra was used on the car as the PPF protection film. The Ultra of the, of the name Santa Cultra means that the PPF has what's called hydrophobic qualities. That's a hydrophobic additional layer on top of the film. And obviously what that does is that pulls water and helps the water wick away. So it, it prevents the water from staying on the vehicle in effect, from sticking to the vehicle. It's called hydrophobic qualities. And I believe Santa Cultra call it hydro resist film. So obviously that has benefits that you know, with with water coming from the sky etc you get impurities as the water is dropped from the clouds and those impurities stay in the water as dirt and minerals and such like and those impurities will stain the film they won't stain it permanently but they will mark the film so you'll have to do more work on keeping the car to this sort of standard when you've taken it out for small drives the small drives that the car is is used for so it was trailered up to a company up in derby Again, I've got no problems in advertising the company that was used. It was Paint Shield, but Santa Cultura at the time in 2018, and I believe it's still the same, was the industry lead in the film that is used across the vehicles. Um, and I believe it's their main film that they use still to this day. Very nice people at Paint Shield, very easy to talk to, very easy to have a discussion about exactly what level of standard uh, of, of coverage you want on your car. You can have all different levels. You can have part of the bumper and front of the car covered. You can have up to the up to the front main door pillars. I think they're called the A pillars covered. Um, or you can um, have different sections of the car covered or you can have the whole car covered. The coverage on this car was in effect the whole car. Now, what does that mean? Okay. So obviously the whole front of the car, which is susceptible, to, most susceptible to stone chipping. Lights covered in film, headlights covered in the film. As we come round here to the car, all this section covered in film around, all this section around here covered in film. All around here, this section of the car is very susceptible to stone rash. Obviously it gets thrown up from the wheels and this is very a bad, very bad place for 993s and well for any car really, but exceptionally especially bad for 993s so as you can see that's pretty much immaculate why is it immaculate because it's got very good coverage paint protection film obviously all the arches are covered in film all this section down here if we come across here to the bonnet obviously all the bonnet is covered in paint protection film now what they do you'll see there's no edge coming up here you won't see an edge what you will see if you can get right in close here you can see where the film is is folded over underneath the edges. You can slightly see it there where they have to have a slight amount out of the film in the corner to enable it to be folded under. It's folded under all the edges to be able to ensure that the film stays on the vehicle and you've got complete edge to edge coverage. And it's actually further, it actually covers right underneath the edges as well. So the actual far edges of the panels, wherever possible, are protected as well. Obviously all the scuttle is covered in film. Back of the mirrors are covered in film. You can clearly see the separation in the line there. Now we're looking at this section on the mirror. Let's talk a little bit about how film should be applied to the car. In effect, from the very high standard, from, from a very high level, there's two approaches that you can take to applying paint protection film to a car. You can apply it from the point of view of a fly-by-night coming in, charging you one grand, two grand, or circa around that value. Perceivably cheap, as you know, with these sort of cars, you get what you pay for. And coming in and saying, yep, they'll provide an exceptional standard. Yep, they'll do this, they'll do that. And then what you find is that they're actually taking a blade, they're putting the film on your car and they're actually cutting the film on your car. If you've got a sharp blade that's cutting a film, there's absolutely no way you can stop that blade from hitting the paintwork if that's the approach you're taking. I would severely recommend against using that approach. It's obviously up to you um, and I'm not being, uh, I can't be 
so I can't say that's not the right way for you to go and I can't say you know it is the right way for you to go um, I exceptionally I would recommend against that approach because I cannot see how the knife cannot end up at some point or other being embedded in your paintwork and quite often those marks are never noticed until the film is removed at some point later on at some point down the line the film is removed and you see the marks in the paintwork so what's the other approach to take the approach that i used is where um, well the approach that paint shield use is they template the car all the film is cut by a professional cutting system from a, a pre-measured and pre-designed template and then that template is used to create and to cut the film and then the film with all its different sections is then put on the car and it fits the car perfectly now in some cases some cars especially as this was a, the last of the handmade cars some of the panels are slightly different now obviously if you get high volume manufactured cars then pretty much all the panels are going to be the same but remember this is 1997 this is a Porsche 1997 Carrera S wide bodied car and it was perceivably it wasn't all handmade hand, it wasn't all hand built but a lot of the process was manual and that means that some of the panels are slightly different there are variations in the panels in fact i know there's variations across all these cars slight variations in, in the panels how do i know that because they told me that they had to use they had to modify the templates for my car particularly they offered up the film to the car and it didn't fit so they had to do slight changes and tweaks on the computer system that manages their template cutting system and template designing system and then they created new versions of that cuts of that film and then they put that film on the car and then it fitted so there's slight variations that they have to use so if we just walk around the rest of the car the film coverage as i've already talked about the wing mirrors obviously the pillars here and you can see a slight join here at the top of the pillar obviously they have to put joins in the film somewhere and the whole roof is covered there's some water marks there as you can see the sort of mineral marks you get in the film when you get some um, water from the sky that falls on it but that, that will come off with a, a detailing product obviously it's just on the film then you've got film coverage all across the door all around the door and as, as I've said before the film is overlapped around the edges so it's not it covers the actual end edges as well and obviously film all around the skirts what we used to say back in the day the sills of the car all around the rear wheel arches all the way around this edge in all the way around this rear brake light deflector all the way around the back of the car all the way around the rear lights and obviously the rear the rear bumper which is polycarbonate with regards to the the rear engine cover it's all over here the actual the actual labels for the car the actual badges for the car were removed and i fitted new badges so the badges all the badges are removed from the car the porsche emblem is removed from the bonnet as well and then they ppf the whole area and then you apply the badges back on afterwards that probably in itself is another video to discuss how i put those badges on in that manner to make sure it was correct that in itself was an incredible amount of work just to make sure that the badges were put on in the right way um, in, and in the right manner obviously you know you've got to buy new badges first of all um, and then you've got to research how the badges are fitted etc you'll probably notice that the Carrera S has a split grille this only exists factory on the 993 Carrera S models now that means that this grille also has to have a strengthening bar underneath to prevent this part from sagging when it's actually lifted up and down if you don't know your Porsches then I'll explain a little bit about this rear section this actually is a spoiler this section comes up when you're driving at a certain speed and then it drops down when you drop down to a certain level of um, low speed that's for two things number one to produce downforce because obviously it's the rear spoiler rear wing and number two to increase the airflow into the engine so obviously as the air as the speed increases the engine potentially is going to get hotter remember it's an air cooled engine so it's dependent on air coming into the engine to cool it obviously it's got a fan inside and that fan internally um, which is driven off the crankshaft pushes the air across the engine with certain cowling to distribute across the fins of the engine but in addition you still need fresh air coming into the engine and with this elevated then it allows the air to come in 
So as I say, the, the, the rear wing elevates to a level for the, for the two reasons. Number one, for downforce, and number two, to increase the airflow into the engine. Now the film obviously is around all this rear section, as I've already said, around the rear lights. With regards to how we've already detailed how the car, the, the film is, has coverage, how the coverage of the car across that section, it's also exactly the same on the other side. So that will give you an appreciation of the work that goes into putting PPF film on this car. And remember that PPF in its purest form, in its clear form, with this sort of standard, again, with this standard of PPF film, there's no imperfections in the film anymore. In the old days, with some of the older versions of film, then there used to be what's called as the orange peel effect in the film. But because the films are very thin and a lot better engineered, there's no imperfections in there now. So, in effect, the film shows through the quality of paintwork that exists underneath the film. Thereby, if you don't have the car detailed, and if you don't prepare the paintwork beforehand, and if the paintwork isn't to an exceptional standard, then all the film will do is show those imperfections through the film. So you've got to make sure that the car is well prepared beforehand before you put the film on. If you don't prepare the paintwork beforehand, then when you put the film on, it will show the imperfections. And because there's a gloss layer, on this hydrophobic version of the film then it's going to emphasize any imperfections as well much like it will emphasize the quality of the paintwork underneath it if the quality is good as in this case there's no imperfections in the bodywork either there's no dings no door dings no little knocks there's none of those in the car and that's not because they've been filled um, or taken out in any unforeseen or in, in any unnatural way with filler or lead filler, any types of filler, none of that's been done. It did have about three or four little knocks on the car from its years of, of um, ownership across you know, the, the, um, the owners who had the vehicle. How were they removed? Okay, so um, when the car had some work performed on it, I've, I had the car front, the front end resprayed on the car some time ago. And why was that done? Well, that was to remove stone chips when I first received the car. When that work was performed, they have dent specialists that also come into these specialized paint shops and they can remove small little door dings with um, specialized tools. Now these tools typically go behind, for door panels say for example, they go behind the door glass and they leverage a point of, of pressure behind where the actual dent is and they tease the dent out. There was, like I said, there was two, three or four slight imperfections on the car, very, very slight. They weren't hard dents because you can never remove those unless you actually get the, get body work done on the car. But there were just slight imperfections in the car. Those were teased out to perfection by this dent specialist. To keep it to that standard, you have to make sure you do the usual supermarket thing if you ever take it to a supermarket. Park it in the corner away from any other cars so no other cars are likely to ever come near it because people are irresponsible and people don't give a damn. They'll whack their doors into your car and cause all sorts of problems. So the paintwork on this car is called metallic black. Now that in itself is quite rare as well. So I was very lucky I happened to buy the right car in many ways. How do you know it's metallic black? How do you know it's original paint? Well, you look at the official Porsche label, which exists underneath the bonnet. Now this label shows the paint color, which is here, L744. And it shows you the specification of delivery of the car. So it shows you the additions that were added to the car by the initial purchaser. Again, closing the bonnet. You, close, you push down exactly where the latch is. You make sure that no watches are gonna damage the car, paint protection film or paintwork. Yes, it's paint protection film, but you still are careful. And then you push it down carefully. That covers the paintwork, the detailing on the car and the actual paint protection film. Okay guys, so today we've talked about the paintwork of the car, how to get the paintwork to this standard of finish by detailing, the different processes that are implemented in the detailing process to be able to get the paintwork to the standard of finish and also how to lock in that finish using paint protection film and the different qualities of paint protection film and how that paint protection film can be applied whether they're actually marking and cutting on the car or whether a templated process is used obviously i'd recommend the templated process thank you very much for watching guys as always please subscribe. If there's a lot of interest in this series of videos on the 993S, then I will continue to make more videos. And believe you me, there's a lot of videos I can make. I've had this car since 2008. I know this car inside and out. And as I say, I've done a lot of updates to this car to be able to get it to this standard of finish. Now, one of the things I do just want to add in on that as a, as a closing out section on this video, when you do take the car out in nice weather like today, you are gonna get some 
insect marks on the car on the front of the car and you are going to get some maybe rain deposits same some marks etc on the vehicle and that is pretty much unavoidable that's just how it is it's a car it's out in the elements and obviously you can't try and avoid every single insect as you're driving along it's impossible what i do and what all people with this type of car does when they only use it for for fair weather is they have a detailing film spray a detailing spray and this detailing spray is one that i've found from using many different products it's, it's meguiar's ultimate quick detailer i'm i'm not being sponsored by meguiar's um, I'm not being sponsored by them in any way shape or form I'm only stating this product it's one that I use as many other different types of product I found that this product is nice and thin and is very very good at doing what I'm about to show you which is removing any marks any imperfections any fly squat etc when you've gone out in the car for a short ride to get it back to this standard now again to keep the car to this standard of finish it takes effort and it takes work so every single time you take the car out and bring it back if you want it to retain its looks you've got to work on it so that the car goes back into the garage in the same standard as it came out of the garage so i've already gone around the front of the car around a lot of the sections of the car i wanted to leave this section so it had some stains on there still so that i could show you how we're going to remove those those marks and again this is the film so i'm only ever touching the film i'm never touching the actual paintwork of the car because the whole car is ppf film covered so we just put a small amount of the product on the film and then we obviously have to rub with some level of effort then you turn the rag over and finish off now that won't be perfect yet it'll still take a bit more but you get the idea and this product also as with many other products has a small amount of canuba wax in the in the in the product so you're actually applying canuba wax onto the actual film as well and this product can be used on straight on paintwork as well it's not just for ppf film and um, so that you're putting a, a a nice glossy because now you can't obviously tell this from the video but the cloth is just gliding across them and I'm hardly using any effort and where I've applied that detailing finish it's very slippery that detailing finish helps with the hydrophobic water wicking qualities of the paint protection film so thanks a lot for watching guys please subscribe and see you in the next video